Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here with another competitive moveset video guide analysis on how to use Alolum Golem. Now, if you missed, or Alolum, whatever you want to call it, if you missed any of my previous moveset video guide discussion videos, there's a playlist down below in the description. I encourage you to check that out. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Um, it's good support and it lets you keep up to date with me, I guess. Also... It's kind of early in the morning, so I'm still waking up, but gotta do what I gotta do. So I actually really like Alolum, not design-wise. Design-wise makes no sense to me. He just didn't shave for No Shave November, and then he has this computer magnet built in on his back. I have no idea. Um, Rock and Electric, very, very poor defensive typing, weaknesses to water, uh, weaknesses to grass, a four times weakness now to ground. Like... Electric doesn't add anything defensively for Rock. If anything, it just opened up, or Rock rather, doesn't add anything defensively for Electric. It just opened up a whole bunch of other weaknesses uh, for it. But offensively, Rock and Electric are very, very good coverage. They hit most types for neutral outside of Steel type. So we have a uh, pretty nice base 120 attack, pretty, pretty nice base 130 defense. Outside of that, really, really low base 45 speed. But uh, three really solid abilities, Magnet Pull, letting you trap Steel type Sturdy, letting you live um, hits always, at least one hit KOs. Basically, you can live moves that would Oko you. It also lets you live one hit KOs, it blocks those. And uh, Galvanize, which turns your electric attacks into, or rather your normal attacks into electric attacks. Really, really nice ability. Um, it's pretty much... Aerialate, Pixelate, but for electric, and they just called it Galvanize. And they do 1.2 times the power. So, first off, we have the All Out Attacker set. Now, this set can run Life Orb, Choice Band, sorry about that, no Morning Colds and whatnot. Uh, Life Orb or Choice Band, or Leftovers, it's just an All Out Attacker set, four attacks. Um, but the idea of the set is to punch through your opponent. Uh, because we are running a Galvanize Return, is your main form of stab it becomes a ridiculously strong electric type physical attack speaking of ridiculously strong we have explosion i believe this is the strongest explosion in the game next to uh next to mega Glalie, if i'm not mistaken yeah mega Glalie has the base attack so these come off as some of the strongest explosions in the game they are both electric type explosions though so if your opponent does switch into a ground type you're just gonna blow up and it's not gonna have an effect on your opponent be careful of that. Uh, Stone Edge is your next form of stab. And then Earthquake allows you to cover steel types, which um, resist, if, especially if they're steel ground, resist, or even steel electric. A resist electric plus rock. So, uh, Earthquake lets you cover Pokemon such as Magnezone. Earthquake lets you cover Pokemon such as uh, Heat Ran. If you don't want to miss, the return is going to be a solid to a KO on those. Anyway, so... Uh, the EVs are just max attack, max speed. You can run Adamant or Jolly. Adamant allows you to outspeed Pokemon such as Skarmory, Min Speed, Scizor. Though Scizor will bullet punch you anyway. Um, not that it would knock you out just because you're decent defenses and you're neutral to bullet punch. But you can run Jolly. Jolly would allow you to outspeed all or most variants of Specs Magnezone, um, Adamant Marowak, and whatnot. But, uh, the idea of this set is, again, just punch through your opponent, hit hard, and, um open up doors for other teammates which we will talk about later now again it's just an all-out attacker set so life orb choice band leftovers any item extra belt any item on this set i typically prefer band or life orb i think life orb is a little bit better than band though band gives you an extremely powerful explosion and return uh life orb gives you that ability to switch up moves so you're just not locked in and when you're when you have the potential to be locked into an electric type attack when there's immunity called ground type out there uh, I think it's better for life war, but we have the trapper set. It does have the ability magnet pull. Magnet pull does trap steel types. Now, while Golem isn't going to be beating people like Ferrothorn or Scizor, like most Pokemon such as Magnezone would uh, do with magnet pull, it does have, again, a great base attack stat and a decent move pull to be able to trap Pokemon such as Celesteela, Magnezone, and Skarmory. Uh, Stealth Rock is your first move. You can use it more as a support Pokemon. Wild Charge is your answer to 2 a KOing Skarmory, 2 a KOing Celesteela, 
and the earthquake is there because that allows you to trap magnezone and magnezone getting rid of that is so awesome for partners such as and we'll have right here why is it uh, such as partners such as Cartana and Scizor. Being able to get rid of those help out Cartana and Scizor. Um, mainly Scizor though, Cartana appreciates Skarmory being trapped by, uh, and, and to a KO by Wild Charge or weakened by Wild Charge. That way Cartana can SD up and sweep or Scarf Cartana. Tapu Lele also appreciates Pokemon such as uh, Celesteela being gone since Celesteela is one of its main answers. Golem also can uh, deal with Pokemon such as Alolan Muck. So Tapu Lele also appreciates that as it can spam its psychic type attacks. And Stone Edge again is your next uh, your next attack and your uh, next form of stab. So you run a Jolly Nature. Jolly allows you to again outspeed most forms of Specs Magnezone. And you trap them with Magnapool, knock them out with Earthquake. But the idea of this set is to trap Celesteela, trap Skarmory. Watch out for Earthquake Celesteela. Otherwise, um, otherwise Celesteela is not knocking you out in one hit. But Earthquake Celesteela is four times effective. So be very, very careful about that. Scout for that first before you go directly into a Golem. But again, Tapu Fini appreciates Magnezone being trapped as well as Scizor. Since Scizor can SD up on Tapu Fini unless if it's not running Taunt and can threaten it. And uh, Excadro also appreciates Pokemon such as Skarmory and Celesteela being trapped. Uh, this allows Excadro, especially Sandrush variants or even Scarf Moldbreaker variants, to um, click Earthquake or abuse Sand. Also, Golem with Stone Edge does weaken ground types such as Landorus for Excadro. It does force in ground types. So, again, that damage is really nice for Excadro as a partner. Now, Rock's Lead is a set that can be ran. Uh, this set needs Custat Berry, so once Custat Berry is released, you can run this set. But the idea of this set is you sturdy, that way you always live any hit. Um, set up your Stealth Rock, and then boom, with your Custat Berry. Explosion hits really hard. It's a 250 base power move. Obviously, you're not having Staff from Galvanize, but in this case, it's actually good because a Ground type won't block it, and you can get, get, up, you can get up some chip damage on that Ground type uh, for the remainder of your team. Just max attack, max speed. Explosion, Stone Edge, Earthquake. You don't have any electric staff on this. Uh, explosion is probably doing more to most mods outside of like Skarmory or Celesteela anyway. Uh, Stone Edge is pretty decent for hitting them regardless. And then Earthquake again gives you that option versus Pokemon such as Magnezone uh, and anything on the ground that can take Explosion or Stone Edge. Uh, Earthquake also helps you hit Pokemon such as Gengar that might be used as spin blockers. Uh, lets you Damage the hell ago. I mean stone is gonna do a lot probably bring it down to its sash anyway If it is a lead variant, but earthquake gives you the accurate move and an explosion just to get on out of there Helps you block defog because because that berry will give you um, It lets you move first in a pinch Wow, that sounds like an old description from like RB or for like Ruby Sapphire, but uh, Basically you can explode before your opponent defogs if you're down to 1 HP or anything under a fourth of your max HP or less so basically anything under a fourth, as I just said, and that can help you block a rapid spin, help you block a defog by going for explosion. It's not necessarily to kill your opponent, but to get rid of yourself. That way your opponent cannot rapid spin or defog. So next we have the Trick Room Abuser, and this uh, abuses Golem's low base 45 speed, and the fact that Galvanize gives it one of the strongest explosions in the game, and you know, good return stab. So same four attacks we've been seeing throughout this uh, set. I believe these are some of Golem's best attacks. Other options would be like Rock Slide or Rock Blast over Stone Edge. But Stone Edge just hits so incredibly hard. Um, and yeah, the idea of this set is just going Brave Nature, minimizing your speed IVs, and just attacking hard under Trick Room. Uh, it has the move pull to do so. Um, definitely pair it with Pokemon, maybe like Wishy Washy or Crabonable. Pokemon that get rid of ground types under Trick Room. That way, Golem doesn't have to worry about anything blocking its return or explosion and just pummels through your opponent. So, that's something I would pair with Golem right down there. And again, these are Pokemon that really appreciate Golem trapping Magnezone or weakening Cartana or weakening, excuse me, Celesteela or Skarmory for it. Cartana has a better, if it's Scarf, it has a better chance of sweeping late game or even if it's a timid SD set. Uh, Scizor again doesn't have to worry about Magnezone trapping it, Skarmory whirlwinding it out, or Celesteela flamethrowing it, so really appreciates a partner in uh, Golem. Now other options, Fire Blast is a legitimate option if you're running like, um, basically not a minus special attack nature because Fire Blast with a Life Orb does to a KO the standard, uh, 
the standard Ferrothorn of 6th gen. I don't know if this will be the standard of 7th uh, gen, but it does 2 uh, two AKO, 252, 168, spin death, relaxed natured Ferrothorn. So this also can help you uh, 2 AKO Scizor. Uh, Volt Switch is also another option. I've actually used that under Trick Room just because it gives me that utility. If something comes out that I can't kill but it's not ground type, I can get on out of there. Facade is also a nice option if you get burnt or poisoned or status of any kind. Oh, the only ones that will actually allow you to attack. Uh, it, um, it boosts up the Facade to 140 base power uh, and it just becomes stronger than Return. And then Toxic is an option to be able to wear down Pokemon that might switch in, such as Lander's Theory Inform, Garchomp, or Rapaldon, and allow Golem to later weaken your opponent's team. Another option is also Rock Polish. Rock Polish, it does have base 45 speed, which is 207. Charlie Max um, outspeeds Pokemon such as Tapu Koko and whatnot. And uh, you can just Rock Polish up and proceed to try and sweep with that. I would run like Return, Stone Edge, Explosion. Or earthquake on that set anyway with galvanize but that really is up to you in any case I think that's all that golem really has to offer uh, it's a really fun mod I like the trapper set because it's a decent support Pokemon people don't see it coming you don't usually pull doubles when your opponent has a low and golem when you can have sell still out because you can leech it and usually switch out because galvanize is more likely to be used than a magnet pool but I think it can function as a pretty cool support Pokemon with magnet pool but I hope you guys all enjoy feel free of course to leave a like subscribe follow me on twitch and twitter links are down below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.